How are plastic water bottles made? The life cycle of a water bottle. Precious oils are extracted from the ground. They fill up 17 million barrels per year. That's enough to fuel 1 million cars. The oil is made into plastic pellets and shipped to bottling centers. The pellets are then melted into bottles and the bottles are filled with water. Then they are wrapped in plastic and are shipped to stores and homes where they are quickly consumed. Only 30% of water bottles are recycled. The other 70% end up in landfills and oceans for over 700 years. How aware are individuals of the effect of plastic water bottles? Do you use plastic water bottles? I do. Do you reuse them? Sometimes I do. Mainly kind of just for like watering plants and everything. Like we have like the one that you put like little holes in the top and like you drip it upside down in the summertime. Do you recycle water bottles? Yes. Do you know what they do to the environment? I have an idea, but not necessarily a good one. <laughs> Plastic water bottles that end up on beaches, in rivers, and in the ocean cause serious water problems that have impacts for wildlife. It takes hundreds of years for plastic water bottles to decompose. In other words, they are nearly a permanent part of the environment once they are placed in the oceans. Bottles that aren't recycled and are improperly disposed of often end up in landfills and in the ocean. Though a combination of light rays and water help to degrade the bottles, tiny pieces of plastic still remain. It's those tiny pieces that contain many of the harmful chemicals that end up in the stomachs of countless marine animals and shorebirds. In the United States alone, approximately 9 billion bottles are used per year. However, only about 13% is recycled. As a result, about 2 billion tons of water bottles end up in the ocean or in landfills. Are you aware that plastic water bottles flood the oceans every single day? Yes, my grandpa used to be, um, a, he was not, not necessarily a marine biologist, but he used to scuba dive, and just based on everything that he's seen in the photos, he, we um, always have that little conscious about the environment and what to do. Luckily, there are many people aware of this problem. Hi, my name is Melissa Straub, and I am a chemistry major and environmental science minor at Lewis University. I'm in my third year, and I know how important it is to not buy water bottles. Um, I know that they're easy, and they're everywhere. That you can access them pretty much anywhere, but um, all the plastic is not good for the environment because it ends up in landfills because no one knows how to recycle, or even just making plastic itself is causing a lot of pollution because how do you make those bottles in factories? Factories cause pollution. So all in all, it's really important just to find a Brita filter or some type of filtration system that you can have a large container of it so you're not buying smaller packaging of plastic. Um, that's what I think is great for the environment, but I mean, as long as you're recycling, I can't judge you that harshly because sometimes I have to get a water bottle too. So, so what's the big deal with plastic water bottles? Humans use plastic in more ways than they think. Sometimes they use plastic without even knowing it. Like in the supermarkets, for example. Containers of foods such as milk, soda, fruits, fish, bread, meats, all contain plastic. The shopping bags we use are also made from plastic. Sometimes even the shopping carts are made from plastic. It's all fun and games until people realize the true terrors plastic brings to the world. Plastic takes hundreds of years to deteriorate. So it all just piles up. So what are the problems that plastic brings to the world? One major problem is that the world is being suffocated by all this litter. The world is being flooded with plastic debris on a daily basis. Since it takes so long to deteriorate, the plastic finds a new home. 
such as in trees, and in the stomachs of countless animals such as birds, who mistake the plastic as food. And since it's not food, the plastic kills the animal. The oceans are also being affected by pollution. Right now, about one half our oceans are filled with plastic. And since the Earth is 75% ocean, that means about 35% of our Earth is already polluted with plastic. The Earth just cannot tolerate this. Even though plastic that stays on top of the ocean is bad, it gets even worse when it sinks to the bottom. Marine animals, like turtles, mistake the plastic as homes. They are trapped and suffocated from this. Animals such as crabs are trapped inside of containers as they fall to the ocean floors. They are also suffocated from this. When plastic enters oceans, it is degraded into smaller pieces that small organisms feast on. As the food chain embarks, the plastic food chain also embarks from species to species. The fish that humans catch to eat have a high chance of containing plastic as well. So as you can see, the world is being suffocated by the amount of plastic that is being polluted. The problems we are facing now can be fixed. However, if they are ignored, major issues will appear in the world. There are so many ways humans can cut back on the amount of plastic that is wasted. One way is to go to your local supermarket and purchase products that are only plastic free. Another way is to use an alternative to plastic shopping bags, such as paper bags, cardboard boxes, and even hand-woven baskets. It's the small actions we do that can make a huge difference in saving the world and making it a better place to live. So the question is, who's ready to make a change? My name is Andrea Scaletta and the world we live on is currently in danger. The amount of plastic that is being created is more than is being recycled. Since many people are unaware of the harmful effects that plastic has on the environment, people improperly dispose plastic. The improper disposal leads to many problems such as animals eating plastic debris and dying or being trapped inside of it and dying. The world can only tolerate so much pollution and soon we will see long-term effects that the plastic litter will bring. One of the few things that I do to help the environment is instead of purchasing plastic water bottles, I purchase reusable ones. They're a much better alternative to helping the environment because instead of buying hundreds of bottles that will end up in landfills, you just use one that you can just clean out with a sponge. Another way that my entire family helps out is that we only use paper bags at grocery stores. The earth doesn't have a voice, so it's our job to defend it. Don't wait until it's too late to make a difference. It only takes one grain of rice to tip the scale. So get out there and be the change the earth so desperately needs. It only takes one nudge to get the ball rolling, and this is your nudge. So what are you waiting for?